Hello and welcome to the third video of the Spitfire Selection Box where I'm looking at all the different Spitfire kits as starter sets that you can get for um, Christmas and any other time really I'm just doing it for Christmas because you could buy one for Christmas, you never know you could receive one which could be even more fun this is the sort of the elephant in the room one for me today we're looking at the Hobby Boss Spitfire which is not a starter kit, there's no glue, there's no paint in here but it's listed as easy assembly kit and to be honest easy assembly sounds like a good way to start I mean I've been out of modelling for a while and when I came back into it trying some of the um, other kits carrying on where I thought I left off I found it more difficult than I imagined when I came across these ones, I was really impressed by the quality and what I did, because I've got um, a couple of, uh, I've got a Russian PE2 and I've got an IL2, an Illusion, um, both very good models um, and I've tried building the Salamander, the uh, Jungsberger, something like that, um, it's a German jet fighter, it's a H HE162 if you know what that one is. Um, they're very good quality, so when I saw this one being done as a Spitfire easy build, I thought I've got to include it to see what it's like. This cost me £5, I bought it at the Southern Expo early on in the year. So let's take it over to the model desk and see how it compares. Come with me. Okay, here we are over the modelling desk. I have the Spitfire kit here. Um, I also have all the bits you need. Got my track cutters again. I have a modelling knife, and I have a glue, which obviously this doesn't come with. Most importantly of all, cup of tea. Never be without your cup of tea. Right, let's have a look at this. I love the packaging of these. I mean, look at that. How nice is that? You have your decals. You have a lovely printed thing. I love on the back of these as well. That's you have the painted, uh, coloured painting guide of all the different things. Sorry about the noise of the cages going past. It's a problem of living above a co-op, um, which is really nice. I do love this. The only problem you will find with these is that they um, list the colours as um, uh, mist colour and hobby colour. Um, they use websites online, or there are websites online, use proper English Michael um, that will convert it into Homball or Revell or whatever you want to use but I've probably got the paints here anyway, I've done Spitfires before and you open it up and there's your instructions it shows you all the different uh, sprue pieces you're going to have a very simple layout for it to go together it's just a nice little booklet, I like them and lastly we have a kit look at that people isn't that just gorgeous way to lay it out? Let's put it that way up to this. The body's right around. It's just, I know it's a plastic tray, so it's a waste of um, resources, waste of packaging, it's all that lot. You could put this in a smaller box, but the way everything is held secure in there, so you know everything is perfect, you don't get that very often. Um, I mean, even with the Airfix and Ravel, which we'll get onto, um, you'll always find the sprues will be there, but in a plastic bag. The Hobby Boss is the only people I've come across who put theirs in a plastic tray. And I've never had any problems with them. I like it. Right, let's get on to building it. And so the decal's very nice as well. Put them over there. Bye bye. Turn your song sheets to page one. And begin. And also, this is an easy build kit. So the first piece you use is that. Now does that look more like a wing shape than the graphics one did? I think so. Put you down there. Right, let's put, the, put the box the other side. Put you down there. Uh, another bit we need is the fuselage. And like I said, the fuselage again. That's a one piece moulding. But that is just so nice. It really is nice. Drop your Spitfires. Never drop your Spitfires. What do we say, people? 
Thank you. You get a prize. And you. And you. And you. And you. And you. Sorry, I'll stop, I'll stop being an idiot one day. But mind you, why stop being an idiot? If I do it so well, why bother stopping? So I'll just get out of here. There are little plastic lugs which hold it all in place. That is your main sprue, people. See how little is on there? But the detail you get off one of these is really good for how little you get. Most of it is put on anyway. Put that down there. Put that out of the way for a minute. Right. So we put that out of the way. Flip that over. It's really nice. I like it. Um, you get your poly cement. Now we need piece A3. And cue the music. I don't actually have music for this, but there you go. one thing you will find out about these kits. You saw I had to flip that bit round as I was putting it on. The pegs are designed so they will only go in one way. If there's two pegs on it, they'll be offset and one will be slightly bigger than the other. So it can only go in one way. It won't go in the other way around. Only that one way it'll work, which is again a very good little feature. Right. There you are, that is all the detail on the underside of the wing glued on. And that's taken me what? Two, three minutes all told. And already that looks really good. But to get the rest of the detail on it, like I said you can paint these up beforehand, but there's no need to because of fuselage. You would think, over the case with some airfix kits, that this bit here would be the bottom of the um, cockpit. So you'd have to paint that up to make it look good. Not so. Hobby Boss kits, there's your fuselage, and there is a bottom. On there so you can glue this bit on straight away don't have to paint it beforehand brilliant and so this this one is I know not a starter set no um, glue no paint or anything but easy build and it's definitely easy build Off this up. We're going to try and get that back pin in first because otherwise, we're not going to get it too well. If you, um, you just saw I just um, I had excess on there, just wipe it away with your fingers. You don't have to do it. get cotton buds. Most people say, oh, get a cotton bud, wipe it away. You can do that, but you don't need to. You can just wipe it off. Poly cement doesn't, it will melt plastic. That's what it's designed to do, but it won't do anything to your hands. I said, we're only a little way into the kit, but already we have a Spitfire. I like these kits. I'm going to pause there for now, because I've got a few bits to do. I'm going to drink my tea, part two coming up in a bit. One little weird thing on here, just putting the tail wheel on, there. Um, the slot it's supposed to go in is actually a little bit wider than the wheel. If I just pull that out, it's unglued yet. Tab on the wheel is quite is the same width as the socket, so that is a little bit of a confusion. Some people might think 
it goes in that way because that does fit as well but that is completely wrong according to the instructions and from other ones I've built it goes in a narrow way leaving you with a rather large slot but there you go let's carry on Maybe just wonder why I've um, pulled this little piece out. This is a piece that goes on the front. Um, you see where this gaping hole is. Um, normally, that's actually a good place if it's a uh, free wheel aircraft, like um, an air cobra or a jet or anything like that. And it's a good place to put some weight, um, like liquid lead or just normal lead with plasticine if it only needs a little bit. Um, that's a good place to put it, but since we don't need it, cover that bit up. It's going to be one of the next steps after we have built the landing gear. Okay, the landing gear put together and literally all it is is just a two piece assembly. You've got a wheel there and you've got a little um, leg that I'm holding. Just pop it together, nice and simple. Um, the reason why I've got a mouse on my desk now is that I'm, while I'm doing this I'm listening to music but obviously to get around all these lovely copyright laws that everyone goes mad on and I've been caught out by before on our channel I'm pausing the music each time I talk to you. I think it's only sensible. <laughs> Let's carry on. Panic mode! I dropped a bit on the floor. Let's find it, shall we? Where's the stop button gone? Okay, we're back. We're back. The bit I dropped, hold up the camera, is that tiny little bit there. There's a little bit of moulding spur on the top, just there. But this circular bit is what we need. You see why I dropped it? Okay, let's get it sorted. Okay, literally people, I know I'm being quick with this, also even with, without speed up I'm being quick with it, but you can, the pieces are so big and locked together so nicely that you can afford to be quick I mean that little piece that fell off it's the tail of a little ring around the back of a bomb here you see that? within about two minutes of finding it I cut the sprue off cut the bomb out glue that on there and glue the bomb on the fuselage when I glue the landing gear on it's that quick you can be with this kit I like them just want to point these things out One little thing I have just noticed on the instructions is quite interesting. Step four here, you, see, you know, just have to align this on camera. You put on the other tail plane, which you just saw me do. And this is you put on the propeller. The propeller assembly is up here. This is a step five. Yeah, I'm just trying to work this out. See, step four, put the propeller on. Make the propeller is step five. I like that hobby boss. That is clever. I didn't know you were related to Doctor Who. Tell me, does Doc Brown work for your marketing department? One little thing I was just doing, putting this together. Instruction 5 here it says you need four pieces. Come on, focus, focus, focus. And this one here, A18, I don't really think you need. Can I just show you? 
That's A16 and A14 glued together. You've got the little um, uh, hub that attaches to a propeller. A9 is this little nose cap. What do they call it? A18 is this tiny, tiny little grey speck you can see. It's a little spacer between the two. But since the nose cap glues straight onto A16, I don't really think you need to use it. So I'm going to be a rebel or not. Okay, and there we are. Apart from the glazing, which I'm not going to put on yet, that is all together. Apart from the aerial, which I've just noticed is still on there. But that's a confusing one I will just mention. The aerial on here is marked as uh, A5, and it goes in this little slot on the back of a Spitfire. On the instructions, it's shown as part of a fuselage all the way through. Can you see that on there? On the kit, it's not there. So that's just one thing that's missing off the instructions. Hobby Boss, if you're watching, which you un uh, most undoubtedly are not, you need to just mark on their A5. Apart from that, I've got no problems with it. So let's get on to a painting video. Okay, this is a conclusion video for the Hobby Boss um, Spitfire, the easy build. I know I said I'd do a painting video, but I thought what's the point because I'm not reviewing the paints that were with the kit because there weren't any I'm just reviewing the kit as you get it so this is why it's still in grey and apart from the uh, canopy and everything because I still need paint obviously it is all on there it is well attached it's a nice model um, one thing that is interesting I did find out in the painting guide this one here, I believe, yeah. Have a quick look at that. That is um, RAF 303 Squadron 1942. RFOD is the signature number on it. This one I've had in my back for ages. What's the number on that? RFOD. So, it's, I could do this up as one of the, Spitfire, as one of the old airfield Spitfires, and you wouldn't know the difference. Because I've got one here. Same condition, I've painted it a bit. Um, and this is, again, this is a Mark 5B, same as this one. This is the one you saw with the graphics Spitfire. Let's come a bit closer. That's the Hobby Boss. That's the Airfix. Both in shot. They look absolutely identical. Apart from the fact that this is made in blue plastic, this is made in grey plastic. But they look absolutely identical. And if you can't really tell the difference, that has way more parts and more bits to stick on than this one. If you can't tell the difference, who's going to argue? Hobby boss, I salute you. What age range would I put this for this? I'd say all ages. If you're a young kid um, getting started like the graphics one, but that is not what you want. You want something more detailed. Look for a Hobby Boss one. Because I built this in one morning um, before I went to work. Um, whereas this has been... Okay, yes, I built that in one club, of, club event. So, you know, that's the same. But, that is the old kit. How's the new kit we're going to look at next going to stack up to the Hobby Boss? I hope it does well. So, my final recommendation? Definitely give Hobby Boss Easy Assembly Authentic Kits a try. Whatever you want to do, Spitfires, Lightnings, uh, Messerschmitts, Russian aircraft, they do loads of them. Pick one up. Give it a try. They're normally only about £5, £6. Give them a try.